Alpha Centauri is a classic, but now you've bought it, you're staring at the interface, and you're thinking, oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? Well, good news, it's not as bad as it looks. Aside from stack movement, Alpha Centauri is the first 4X game with a fully functional UI. But just, not everything is where you'd expect it to be, and some essential things have to be turned on. So, let's go through them one by one, let's fix your UI. First, I need the obligatory mention of Praxiex and the Thinker mod. Praxiex is a mod that helps you modernize the game. Check out these cool special filters for elevation, rockiness, etc. And if you have issues with resolution or running the game on newer versions of Windows, this mod can help that. Thinker makes the AI better, but it also has some crucial quality of life features. Things like helping you buy things with energy without doing stupid math. There's a link to the install guide in the description of this video, check it out. Okay, the first setting is confirm odds before attacking. This is insanely useful. If you take away one thing from this video, go turn this on now. The game is complex, and I had no idea going into a combat if I would win or lose. You can't actually see the defender in a city, so unless I'm missing some other way of checking that, this just straight up gives you information that you might not otherwise have. And not only can you see the odds of winning, but it breaks down all the combat stats, actually giving you more information than a lot of the Civ games do. So for example here, my faction leader gets an attack bonus. You can see that 25% belief score in the bottom panel. Just be warned, the odds seem a little off in cases where one unit is at low health. Next is show flattened terrain. You can decide here, but I found it very hard to judge distance behind hills, especially with combat and former moves, so I like having this on. The one problem with having it on is that it can be tough to see if a tile is a slope, which matters for building thermal boreholes. Just be aware of that. You can change it as needed, but for all other parts of the game, I prefer having this setting on. If you want to know what the tiles are, like what are the food values or whatever, right click, and the information will appear in the bottom left of the screen. Again, this is not the most intuitive place for the information to be, but the info is there if you need it, and it is easy to access. Now, I've been playing Civ 3 for decades, I'm used to the diamonds and to the big fat cross, but if you're not, change these settings. So turn on the map grid and turn on the base grid. The base grid will tell you which tiles your city can access and draw yields from. Very useful information. Also consider the stop for new thing built pop-up. I like having these on. The game has the nasty habit after you finish building something of switching to stockpile energy, which basically means building nothing, like wealth from Civ 3. This isn't what you want, so this option helps a lot. It gives you a pop-up when you finish building something, and from there you can change production. I guess if you were using queues a lot, you wouldn't really need this, and it does slow down the game, but I found myself like constantly switching to stockpile energy without meaning to when I had this off, so turn it on. Speaking of production, the production menu is annoying, the game is inconsistent about where the OK button is. Notice how sometimes it's in the bottom right, but here that's the cancel button. Do not try to click on the OK button, it's tiny, and if you're off by one pixel it'll switch to something else. What you need to do is double click on the thing that you want to produce. Get in the habit of doing this now. So you can queue up production, here's what that looks like. However, notice that the OK button has moved to a third location. This is exactly what I was talking about. All of these UI features technically do exist in the game, and you can navigate them quickly if you know where they are, but they just aren't where you would expect them to be. On the queue production screen, the enter key doesn't work. I've checked the whole keyboard, there's no hotkey for this. You have to double click the thing you want in the production queue. Using enter and the arrow keys seems like a tempting alternative to double clicking. It works in the production screen, but not in the queue screen. So to summarize, double click the thing you want to build, don't use the OK or Insert button because they are tiny and they move around, and don't use the Enter key because it only works for current production, not for queuing production. I won't go deep into hotkeys, but I'll say for supply crawlers, the crawling function requires you to hit the O key. If you don't know this hotkey, the action is buried in a menu somewhere, and either the name is not super obvious or I'm really dumb and I struggled to find it, I don't know, I guess when I edit this video and add the footage we'll find out. Either way, remember the hotkey for supply crawling is O. Last thing, you can change the game rules when you're setting up. One option is the option to move your starting settler around instead of planting it instantly in place. If you turn that on though, often the AI will just not plant a city at all. So unless this gets fixed in a mod, I would recommend against turning on this option. Another option is turning off blind research. 
This is tempting, but having blind research on actually makes the game much simpler for you when you're starting out. It avoids situations where you have to plan things without really understanding what they do. So, I actually enjoy playing with all the standard settings on. The preferences need a lot of work, the stuff I mentioned before, but in terms of setting up the game, you can just launch your first game on a standard map without editing the map or the rules at all. That's it. The game should be a lot easier to play and figure out now. If you have any other tips, put them in the comments, and enjoy.